Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed, and this is going to be a progress blog of the game so far. Now, previously what you had seen was a setup with a character selection screen, as well as um, various weapons. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a hitch. It was mechanism integration. It's something I've been working on, and unfortunately, the way that I had the rig set up before, I was unable to actually transfer the animation over without more work than it would take to actually just redo them. Alright, so what I have done so far, however, though, is I've been able to work with um, people on the Playmaker Forms website, uh, Gene Faber and Lamp Rabbit, and they were able to help me figure out how I could get the uh, animation system to work so that the legs won't move backwards when you're walking backwards. Uh, just give me one moment, I'll boot up a uh, build so I can show you. Okay, so let's get this started. Right now, I'm not sure that the frame rate's going to be very easily seen, but as you can see, the uh, character's matrix is pointing northwards. There's also a little um, an object that I'm calling sort of a compass. It's just a simple object takes the direction and factors in what direction it should have been facing as you release the uh, direction keys. And the mouse is currently set to um, point it towards it, as in the uh, schematics. Now if you notice here, he's walking forwards. In here, he's kind of... Unfortunately, the animation does have two weak spots, where the it, it just will not blend correctly. I'm still working on that one. Um, but as you rotate, you kind of notice that he's walking in the direction he should be, as you turn, with uh, the exception of the two spots here. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Alright. Now, the reason why this was such a uh, frustration for me, and to be honest, I'm going to be flat out, it, it, is a, it was a frustration because I basically essentially lost about two months worth of data, and this is a perfect opportunity to talk about proper project management. Now, this might seem really boring and stuff, and I know as a game dev, or aspiring game devs, this is probably going to be your kryptonite, because a lot of us just really don't like having to plan out all the uh, minutia like this. We're artists at our core, so we just want to go at it and do it. But the way that this would help you is that it would help you figure out, okay, what do you need to learn? What do you need to do to get to that point? And if you get it down all on paper first, this is probably going to take you about a day at most to do, but if you get it done all on paper first, then you can figure out, okay, well, you can figure out what you need to do to get all these things done, such as if you have, you would have to do all the modeling, the animation, the coding, all those other types of things. And if you say, for example, so have a game that's going to be, okay, I want it to be a top-down, third-person shooter game. Okay, you've got your starter there, you've got the uh, basic idea of how you want the character to move, how you want the character to control. Next, after that, you've got to figure out, okay, how am I going to make it look like it's moving? Because unless you're working with just grey boxes, you are going to have to work on, say, animating something and integrating that animation. And it can get tedious at times. Some people have a mind for it, some people don't. I'm going to be honest and say I'm treating this as a learning experience, so essentially I admit I don't really have the mind for all the uh, all the minutia and stuff. I mean, I'm a game dev, I'm an artist, I just want to get it done. But my mistakes can be your areas for opportunities. So if you're still early on in your game dev cycle, and you kind of only really have an idea of what you want, that's great. You've got an idea. But if you can, just write down a couple couple uh, paragraphs. For example, say you want him to be able to leap or jump or fly or go stealth or... If you can figure all that stuff out, it will be at a better space, so then you can therefore somewhat anticipate some of the things that you're going to be needing. Alright, but other than that, that is pretty much the update right now. I admit it's a huge step back, but I learned something, so it's not all bad. And the bonus of the mechanism system is 
the way that mechanism is set up if you have animation data for one character you can easily transfer it over to the next character it does require a little bit a specific so sort of rig to set up so that you can use that but once you have it set up it would save you weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of work because animation if you're doing a 3D game is one of those things that takes time to do it well and well if you can cut 10% of that time down great if you can cut 20% great etc 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 all the way on to like say maybe if you only have to do 10% of the work and make Mechanem do the other 90%? Absolutely. Now for some of you I know that you haven't made the upgrade to uh, Unity 4 and Mechanem is specific to Unity 4. However, Playmaker has gotten a lot of support for it in the uh, animator section. All of these, most of them are gets and sets, but all of these open it wide open to Playmaker. The only trick is figuring out how to get animator uh, which is Mechanim, and Playmaker to understand each other. And that's actually really very simple. So let's pull up the animator. This is a, a basic blend tree animation which is modeled off of the, um, of the uh, robots from the demo scene. So all it needed was two variables. One variable which is the walking, it's a boolean, and in the inspector, let's see, this up. Well, I know it's in one of these. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. All right. This one's only taking the uh, Euler Delta Angle. Now, this is a custom action. You can also find this on the uh, Playmaker forums. If you haven't checked out the Playmaker forums, do so as soon as you can. I'll leave a link down in the description because there's a ton of stuff there. A lot of the questions that you might have. Um, might want to ask might actually already be answered there all right but it gets the uh, variable of child one and child two well child zero and one in this case and that that's the directional compass and the uh, character here now this is just the proxy this is what I'm working on once I get the system cracked then I'm going to transfer it over to the old system and then you'll be able to see it with all the um, all the uh, textures and everything now the direction compass, it's a simple state, and the first state it gets its parent. Now that would be the parent of this one, so therefore the player, just in case. And from there it just gets the variable of movement. Now the way we have the movement set up in here, since it's using the uh, get axis vector, it's returning a, a vector2 variable of x and y, which is limited to plus one, minus one in both in both um, both uh, axes and it's storing that as movement. Now all these systems are pretty simple to be honest. It might seem intimidating, it might seem like really complex, but if you look at them they're all doing one specific thing. And from there it then okay, I'll back to this one. It then takes this information and smoothly looks at the direction that it's supposed to. So in essence, when you're running it, this object will always face in the direction that the player is supposed to be facing because this right here does not rotate mainly because I needed to keep that separate for the uh, various weapons that I have set up. Alright, simple system on here click to move towards the uh, mouse pointer and uh, when you're not clicking towards the mouse pointer just point in the last direction that it knew which would be the either the mouse or in the uh, matrix direction and in the animator in this one this is the um, this is the uh, blend tree system that I've got going and this was the one that um, Gene Faber and Lamp Rabbit did help me with so again if you haven't been to the uh, the forums do so as soon as you can if you haven't been there, you are missing out on a wealth of information. Uh, it's got the basic animations back forth, and as you can see in the animation file, all that it has is just the skeleton and the rig. Well, the skeleton is the rig, oops, <laughs> and the um, animation data. 
This is one of the ways that Mechanim really, really shines, because it doesn't need to know the waiting information, it doesn't need to know the uh, control objects, it just needs to know what the bones are, how they rotate, and in this case we're copying from another avatar that I had created, and that one is for this object right here. This is just a basic model, standing in a T-pose, all it has is the geometry, the rig, I could easily take out the uh, control points because CTR is control in my personal way of doing things, uh, and the uh, avatar information. Now the avatar information is created when you create the model. And let's do a quick little look-see. I'm not going to really go into this because there, are, there is a tutorial that already explains all of this information. Uh, some of them are on the Unity homepage. I'll put a link there too. It's for the stealth game. This is pretty much where I figured most of it out. And that's pretty much it. I know this lo this uh, video took a little bit longer, but I'm going to hopefully, once I get this mechanism system cracked, I do want to see about putting together a tutorial series on it, because if I had a hard time with it, I'm going to guess that others have too. And as great as the references are, Mm -hmm. There are some times where you kind of have to uh, put two and two together on your own accord. And if I can help in some way with regards to that, I'd be absolutely for that. But other than that, this has pretty much been the third dev blog at this point. Uh, apologies for the uh, delays. I hope that you'll understand why. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, feel free to comment it however you like. And if you want to subscribe, go for that too. Catch you later.